Guys, today I want to talk about something I was wrong about. I have before stated, I believe in a couple videos, but also on Discord, that I think the Argentine Orville is not good. But after further testing, I have found myself to be wrong. So I think I want to show y'all why I have now changed my mind, and uh, hopefully I can change your mind too about it being bad, because it is, it is quite good. And I'll show y'all why here. So, a while back, I made a video um, using Argentina in a 60-minute treaty. And while I won, it was not due to the unique cards that Argentina has to offer. I just won because my opponent was playing Dutch, and he was spamming Reuters against my Rodoleros. And... Uh, that's the only reason I won that game, even though I was, had an age 4 military and I was not using these special cards from Argentina. Now, Argentina has a different combo than I was using. I was trying to use the Mounted Grenadaro with, like, I don't know. I was trying to just use, like, the Mounted Grenadaro with, like, Musketeers or something. And, it, I don't know, it just wasn't working out very well. The Mounted Grenadaros, I were just dying the hand cab were killing them the range cab were killing them but actually i realized now that i was just doing it wrong and i wasn't microing them as i should which though there's something very specific is you really have to micro these guys and i'll, I'll show you why in a bit so we have speed always wins going and this is the deck you want for this you want your unction obviously because you want that military boost you want your llama ranching for reasons you'll see you definitely want your both your hand attack cards, hand cavalry cards, age 2, because Argentina has a unique card that makes all your hand cavalry 20% cheaper, and that's quite big. I would definitely go for advanced arsenal for just the upgrades for your revolutionaries there. Uh, extensive fortifications is big. That 25% hit points on your forts, which you can infinitely send, is rather large. I would definitely try to grab Royal Decree to claim the new world. You don't necessarily need it, but if you have a card to spend, I would grab it because uh, that 15% slower but 25% HP is really large. Both of these, your Haciendas, you cannot rebuild after you've lost them, but if you can boom age 3 and get those 99 fills, you'll have a really nice... Uh, you'll have a really nice time after you revolt because you'll have those 99, uh, 99 revolutionaries. Cavalry combat, definitely want that one. Uh... Just due to it affecting also your, due to it obviously affecting your hand cap, but it'll also affect the mounted Grenadaro. The liberation march is big because obviously the train time, but also the speed will really help offset the slowing down of Corselet, and it'll speed up all your cavalry too, which is big. You really, actually, honestly, don't need these two because that's not the eco we're going for after a revolt. I would grab Spanish gold because those infinite shipments, that gold can really pile up. Uh, Peninsula Gorillas would grab because the revolutionaries will be affected by the full 20%. They're not musket infantry. Improved buildings would grab just for forts. Um, the, I don't know how, con Castramation? I don't know how to say that. I would definitely grab this one because you can rebuild your forts then without sending more cards. Factories definitely want both of those. So it is on Extreme AI because I kind of want to showcase this, but uh, so I have to go fast get all this before the AI shows up with a massive army. Uh, let me just drop both of these just to get them out of the way. You'll definitely want your arsenal before your vault. Your stable would definitely grab the church, but uniquely the saloon because when I did this before, what I didn't realize was that the Mounted Grenadaro counts as an outlaw unit. So the upgrade here at the saloon or the tavern here this one here the 20 percent that affects your uh that will affect your grenadaros and also the minus 50 percent build time will allow you to instant build those grenadaros so that'll be a big thing to grab so we'll go into revolt and here's the thing it ships 10 gauchos and 10 cows it enables you to recruit gauchos which can gather from livestock and slow enemies with bolas so we'll go and get that and here's the gaucho so quite nice damage nice uh it's, well not nice damage except that it's one pot so you got nice uh one pop damage you can this will be your eco so you'll use your gauchos you'll go full llama and your sheep and all this so you'll be able to get 20 llama 20 sheep 
This thing here will now you enable you to get, uh, build cows, which you already have 10 of those, so we can't build more. Um, but really, you're going just all in here on ranching. Why do I have 30 cows? Where do I have 30 cows? Okay, so these count as each other's build limit. That's messed up. Okay, so you won't need that llama's card. I apologize, because you'll just be able to build cows. And apparently those count as each other's as the same thing. So yeah, forget the forget the cows, or forget the llamas, just go cows after your revolt. So your eco will be all food, because the two units, which we're going to be building as our combo, is going to be the gaucho, which costs food, and the grenadaro, which is this... Oh, where's this unit? Why can't I ship this? Oh, I have a full cow limit. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, that's annoying. And the Grenadaro, which is this unit. Both of these cost full food. So that's why the Ranching Eco will be really good, even though it'll only be like a normal... Like, it'll be an Age 4 Eco, but an Age 4 Cow Eco is a really good Eco. And you'll be able to instant build both of these units from the stable. Uh, right now it's on speed as win, so obviously I can instant build because of that reason. But they're both tagged as outlaws, so you'll be able to instant build both. Now, while this unit doesn't look great yet, he has uh, he'll be, be affected by the incendiary grenades, so the attack and siege will go up, and the or the, they'll get a multiplier against buildings here, and the attack will go up to 3.5 area. So that's pretty big itself. Uh, it'll be affected by ranged caracal, which will give him more range. And it'll be affected by unction. So all those, that's kind of what we're going for. We want to get all our ranged cav upgrades. Because that'll really boost these guys. And we really want, um, obviously, unction just for all our units. Uh, uniquely, uh, this um, revolt has the blandingus. Which will make your hand cavalry be 20% cheaper. And while hand cavalry isn't what we're going for here, this is really nice. You know, you can get some nice... Age 4 cheap lancers, and you can get caballeros if you want, or whatever there. Now, the reason this combo that I'm talking about, the rain, the Mounty Grenadaro and the Gaucho work really well, is because the Grenadaro, what it kind of struggles against is, what it really struggles against is hand cavalry and range cavalry, because even though it's a light range cavalry, it's also a heavy cavalry. So, like, normal range cav, normal anti-cav range cav will do a lot of damage against it. So... What you'll do is your gauchos will be your anti-cav and also your anti-range cav in a way because they'll tank all the damage while your gren mounted grenadaros, which are glass cannons, will be dealing all the damage. Although for one pop, with unction, these these uh, gauchos quick guy get quite good. So you'll probably have about 50 gauchos <coughs> doing all your ranching, maybe even less. Uh, yeah, probably about 50 gauchos doing all your ranching, maybe a little less. And then the rest of your pop will just be in Gauchos and Mounted Grenadaros for your military. Uh, this will give you all the siege you need because the Mounted Grenadaro here has a lot of damage, has a lot of siege damage. And this will just be your pairing. You'll just pair these guys and these guys. And uh, actually, let me turn, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, I think the game volume is just a bit loud. So let me turn that down. So sorry about that. Um, but we'll want both of this and this, and then our Gauchos and Grenadaros are fully upgraded, and we can spam out our Unction, obviously, to Unction them. So these guys, look at this. For one pop, look at that. 34 range attack. Nice, nice health. 30% range resist. And these will just do really well against all your, your cab problems, while the Grenadaros here will take care of any infantry and any cannon. And it'll also handle any, any, uh... It'll also handle any uh, building problems you have. So let me actually speed always undo speed always wins here. And as you'll be able to see, we can actually still instant build. So your whole army will be instant buildable and be able to kill basically that comes in their way. So you'll do really well here. And it does pack very tightly. And you can hit and run. One thing that's interesting about the mounted Grenadaro is you know how uh, before you send grenade launchers card, your uh, grenadiers wind up to throw. Now, these guys don't get, aren't affected by the Grenade Launcher's card. That will not do anything for them. But in Hand Attack, they automatically already do... Or a Range Attack, rather, they, they do the Instant Throw. It's like they have the um, Grenade Launcher. But in, when they're Sieging, they still wind up. 
So while you'll be able to hit and run units, you won't be able to hit and run buildings like Grenadiers can. So this combo will just work really well. The Grenadiers deal so much damage, they have no negative multipliers against anything. So these will kill cannons, they'll kill heavy infantry, they'll kill uh, skirmishers, they'll kill... They'll actually do lots of damage versus the ranged and, and hand cav. Um... And these guys, and your, your range cap here, your uh, gauchos will be doing your eco, but also they'll be taking lots of damage and be the ones countering the heavy cav. Uh, now, they're packing in here since they're both counted as range cav. They just kind of stack, however. It would be best, though, if you can get the gauchos out in front of the grenadaros. That would be what you want to go for. But um, since they're both counted as the same thing, they just kind of happen to be like that. And right now, you kind of just got a box of death. You'll be able to run around and kill most anything that comes, uh, <clears throat> including buildings, because these guys have such good siege. Um, is there anything else I want to mention here? Oh, the Argentine Revolt also has the um, Argentine Mortars here. So that will send one uh, one mortal, Mortar and upgrade it to um, Imperial Mortars, which I don't have Speedo is in, so that'll take a bit to come in. We don't worry about that anyway. I don't think you'll need any more than your ranch, your ranch uh, eco here. But if you if you're a little worried, you can probably add in your uh, mill cards and things like that because you can rebuild your vills, so you can kind of help boost your ranching eco with some vills on mills and stuff like that. Although they'll only be age four, so that's kind of you know they can't get age five, but you'll be you'll be fine with the ranching, I believe. So that's pretty much it about this revolt. It's really strong. Uh, it just really synergizes well. And it'll be quite good. There is one thing I want to note is do not let units get a hand attack on your Grenadaros. Because even though your Grenadaros are armed with a lance, which I can actually show that here. Look at this. This unit is armed with a lance, but he has terrible hand attack. 20 hand attack is no bueno. And... Uh, he also, even though he's armed with lance, is not affected by Caballero, so you will not be doing any multipliers against, uh, you will, won't be doing any hand attack multipliers against infantry. So really what you want to do is you want to focus fire, because if these guys get into hand attack, they'll absolutely get wrecked. So you'll just hit and run, hit and run. And you'll be doing lots of damage. You don't ever really want them to get, uh, get close to units. You don't want the hand attack to happen, because you'll counter just fine like this. And this is a really mobile army as well. I mean, just look at this. They wreck whatever they need. And even though, like, sure, this is an AI. Sure, people would counter better. But, like, if you ever need, you can just switch out more Grenadaros for range cav or whatever you're going up against. And it's really easy to switch because you can instant build both of them. And here's our Imperial Mortar. <clears throat> Howitzer, whatever. So that's it for this revolt. I really like it. Uh, like I, I, when I first started making a video about the Argentina, about the Argentina revolt, I was going to talk about, like, I, what changes I think need made and all that. But honestly, like, sure, you could flesh out cards a little more, maybe add some more things. But in all honesty, you don't need to change this. This is a perfectly good age 5 alternative, and it's it'll be quite strong. Definitely better in team games than, um, than like, would be in free-for-alls, I think, or, uh, you know, treaty 1v1s or whatever. But it'll still be strong. And actually, one thing here is I just noticed that this will... Uh, infinitely add to your cal build limit so uh, you might not want to do that instead of the infinite fort but you can definitely if you are if your ranching needs are getting down low you can always add more to your cal build limit so that'll be pretty big in itself so that's it for this revolt uh, quite good would definitely give it a thumbs up it's fun and I'll see you all in the next one